For many in Hong Kong, e-cigarettes and heat not burn devices can replace traditional cigarettes. They are supposedly healthier and are commonly used in both recreational and remedial settings, often to quit smoking. For several reasons, the government is looking to ban e-cigarettes in the interest of public health. Not only is this an issue of public health, but it also raises the issue of personal freedom and the role of the government in regulating consumables for the public. We discuss these issues with the people of Hong Kong. Like all of a sudden, the government decided to put a ban on it. People are feeling not comfortable. Yeah, they try to ignore this. From my point of view, more people, they try to use e-cigarette to try to quit smoking instead of trying to get into smoking. To be honest, I'm not sure because I've uh, read some articles either for e-cigarettes or pro, uh, like pros or cons, where, whether there's law to try to control the ingredients inside it. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. Yeah, I think you go back to uh, original cigarettes. As a father, I prefer him smoking the jewel, but it's a question of uh, freedom of choice. Essentially, individuals should be free to consume at their discretion. By removing the ability for smokers to participate in less harmful practices, it could force smokers to continue to use cigarettes to satisfy their addiction. What power should we allow the government to have over our lives? We spoke with Tom, a local e-cigarette retailer, about his thoughts on the ban in e-cigarettes as an alternative product. It's crazy the amount of locals we meet who haven't done any outside research think that this is just smoking. I have noticed there's a huge lack of sort of uh, education on what vaping is. In nicotine, I'm not sure if you're very familiar with it, but it's not, it's not exactly the harmful part of cigarettes. The main reason is because it's not smoke. It's just vapor, so you're not getting that carbon monoxide from smoke. You're not getting the tar. You're not getting the 4,000 other chemicals that are in cigarettes. Some of the UK government studies have put a lot of resources into it and it shows that vaping is at least 95% safer than smoking. So the main reason is because it's not smoke. Public Health England found that e-cigarettes are significantly less harmful than traditional cigarettes and that around 20,000 people quit smoking as a result of the use of these devices. Furthermore, a Japanese study found that the introduction of e-cigarettes and similar products resulted in decrease in traditional cigarette sales with a net decreased smoking incident rate of 0.8%. Considering this early evidence, it is irresponsible for the government to ban e-cigarettes on the idea that study is inconclusive. Current studies suggest a potential for reduced risk in long-term trends. The idea is over time, people will cut down on the nicotine content hence cutting down on the addiction until they end up not addicted at all. And I've tried a lot of different like government recommended alternatives, nicotine patches, gum, and honestly they didn't really do anything for me. The gateway effect, I think it's very exaggerated, especially by the government here. And from the, you know, 2,000 people we get through a month, I'm still yet to see someone start this and then start smoking a cigarette. Both of them just said they'll probably go back to cigarettes because you know this is the only thing, same with me, this is the only thing that got me off cigarettes. A ban is a flawed solution to the health risks that e-cigarettes impose. While saying this, it's important that the government respects the freedoms of the Hong Kong people and their right to choice. We hope that the government acts in the best interests of its people.